Stephen Hawking. We are not the first universe. There's been many before us, and there will be many after. But unfortunately, we live in a world without fun, which means I have to prove it. In order for me to blow your tiny mind, I need to first explain how our universe will die. So I started looking into this whole heat death thing, whatever pinhead came up with that. To explain it in a nutshell, The generally accepted theory on how the universe will end is the heat death theory. Basically, and I'm simplifying here, it's a combination of two well-known theories in physics. One, energy cannot be created or destroyed. And two, the universe is expanding infinitely. It's simple. Energy is finite. The universe is infinite. Energy switches between forms, mass, matter, light, heat, back to mass, etc. Which means eventually, all the energy will be spread throughout the universe, so far apart that no form of energy can interact with each other. Kind of like too little butter on too much toast. <laughs> the butter is still there, but it's just so thin. You can't taste the butter. Because energy and matter can't interact, the universe will be nothing but a cold, dark void. Where nothing happens. Forever. Screw that! And screw you, Kevin Spacey! He has nothing to do with this, I just think he's a bit of a dick. Moving on! Now, I've explained the death of the universe, cold, dark, and boring, but stick with me. Now we're gonna talk about... The Great Shuffle. The Big Bang is a lot more complicated than I thought it was. It was a singularity, a point where all the energy in the universe was, and it just started to expand for no reason. And it expanded and expanded and expanded and expanded, like how I expand when I see my limited edition Braille Playboy. And it's still expanding. So in a nutshell, all the energy was in one concentrated spot until it suddenly became not so concentrated. It had all the energy in the universe, every bit of matter and quarks and atoms and all of everything in there, until suddenly, without explanation, it just started to grow. And it's still growing. To this day, the expansion of the universe is theorized to be continuously growing, just like Yo Mama. So, if these theories are true, the universe can happen again. It can be brought back from the dead. Black holes have such great gravitational force that not even light itself can escape its pull. Knowing this, I had a question. What would be the final thing to be consumed by the heat death? I'll give you three guesses. It's black holes. It's black holes. Okay, now I've covered all of the widely accepted laws and theories of physics that I'll need to propose my hypothesis. However, I'm not a physicist. I think it's pretty brilliant. I think it's pretty logic. It makes logical sense, but uh, I'm an overthinker, not a professor. Bill Nye whipped it out. If the last thing to exist is a black hole, what's stopping a super massive black hole from gobbling up all the energy and matter in the universe? And if that happens, guess what? All the energy and matter in the universe will be one big collection concentrating everything to a single point. Does that remind you of anything? I'll give you three guesses. The Big Bang. The Big Bang. Or the Great Couple. So if there so happens to be a large enough black hole to concentrate all the energy into one place, we now have something very similar to how we theorize the beginning of the universe. Mm, very interesting. Oh, but what's this? What do I smell? Is that... Doubt I smell? I can hear your Cheeto-stained fingers typing away. Where's this magical black hole coming from? Don't worry. I've got the solution. There are black holes at the center of almost every galaxy, including ours. Over time, they could merge and create one big supermassive black hole. Sounds a little nutty, I know. But black holes get bigger the more they consume matter. Not only that, but they get bigger when they consume other black holes as well. So eventually, black holes consume all matter in their galaxies, and the black holes at the centers of galaxies get big enough to be attracted to each other. Eventually, you will get a black hole that has all matter and energy trapped within it, like a big Russian nesting doll. Which again, sounds awfully similar to the Great Couple. The Big Bang.
which gives credence to another Big Bang, and thus another universe. Oh, my brain is just massive and wrinkly, like a sack. There is a catch to this idea, and it comes from Stephen freaking Hawking. Black holes can decay, with a little annoying thing called Hawking radiation. So if by some chance, it's probably pretty likely, the universe is expanding faster than black holes are growing, then the black holes may be too far away to influence one another, and thus they will decay before they can ever consume one another. However, the possibility still remains. If black holes keep growing and merge with one another to create a supermassive black hole, all the energy in the universe will be sucked in and pulled into one concentrated point, recreating similar conditions to that of the Big Bang, possibly resetting the universe, and boom! Universal recreation. So, f*** Stephen Hawking. But hey, if you believe me, you're listening to a nut. That being said, nuts are nothing if not open to conversation. What do you think? Am I on to something, or am I on something? Stam! Your thoughts in the comments below. And subscribe.